Hi there, welcome to art. So I hope you had fun learning about the street artist, James Goldcrown. And I had the most fun doing a James Goldcrown project where I took paint and I blew on it as, so that it looked like dripping hearts. And it was wonderful fun. And I hope you have a chance to try it. But then I realized I can't very well ask you kids in school to take off your mask, get a straw, and blow all over the room. So I had to think of a creative alternative. So, for those of you who are working in school, we are going to do RJ Gold Crown with markers. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So for this project, you're going to need some pieces of white paper, your markers, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. So we're going to get started and I've done a smaller size so that I could turn it into cards. And just for that reason I am going to fold it in half. Now I found out the most interesting thing about Jade Goldcrown when I was sort of doing a little research. It, his bleeding heart walls, which you know they overlap and they drip, were actually a little bit of an accident. He was working with spray paint and to test out if the spray paint would work in his studio, he would make a heart with the spray paint on a door in his studio, just to see if the, the can of paint was working. Well, someone came to buy his work and they fell in love with the door that had all the hearts spray painted on it. They bought the door right out of his studio. And after that, he started creating his famous dripping heart murals. So what you're going to want to do is get your colors out and just make a bunch of outlined hearts that overlap. And when you first start, it doesn't look like much. I'm going to make some red hearts and I'm going to scatter them here and there. But what happens, it's when the hearts and the colors start to overlap that it gets interesting and fun and starts to look like art. So stay tuned and I'll show you that in Fast Forward. So you can leave your card just like this, but if you want it to get a little bit of a drip, at the bottom, take a little water, dab it on, and you'll get a little bit of the dripping heart effect. And it takes a little patience because what happens with this is at first it doesn't look like it's working at all. But after a while, that water will work on your things and they'll start to dissolve. I put a few dots here because if you look at James Goldcrown's work, you will often see where he's spray painted a few dots that have a drip. Okay, so have fun with that. And remember, don't forget to send me a picture of your work. What I'm going to do next is show you how to make words become a wonderful pattern. And James Goldcrown sometimes does this as well. So again, you start out, and this would be nice for the inside of your card. Just write love. Now I've made it all connected, just like James Goldcrown does, because when you have a spray can for your art, it's a lot easier to have your letters connected. So you make your lettering look nice, have fun, overlap, that's the trick, and make a wonderful inside to your card. So when you're home, you can make one of these by painting the hearts and blowing them with a straw. And I hope you have fun doing it and give it a try. It really is fun. And now don't forget, when you're done with your beautiful cards, notice how the drips have started. Please send me a picture of your work. I can't wait to see it.